Abraham is talking to his friend, whose name is Lot. They are talking about where to live. Abraham has many sheep, and so does Lot. Sheep eat grass for their breakfast and lunch and supper. There is not enough grass here for Abraham's sheep and Lot's sheep too. Abraham is saying to Lot, there isn't enough grass here for all our sheep. Only one of us should live here. One of us should go somewhere else to live where there is more grass. You go where you want to live and I'll take my sheep and live somewhere else. Lot is telling Abraham that he wants to live where the grass is long and green and best so that his sheep will have plenty to eat. He wants the best grass. Lot is being selfish. He wants the best things for himself. After Lot has taken his sheep and gone away, God will give the best land to Abraham. Abraham isn't selfish, so God will give him the best. Abraham is sad. He is sad because he has no children. He needs a little boy. He talked to God about this. He asked God to give him a son. God tells Abraham to come outside with him and look up into the sky at night and count the stars. But Abraham can't count them. There are too many to count. God says, Abraham, I am going to give you a little boy. And when he grows up, he will have children, and pretty soon there will be so many children that you won't be able to count them. You can't count the stars, and you won't be able to count all the children and their children that I will give you. Now Abraham is happy because God will give him a little baby boy. God is glad because Abraham believed him. Abraham knows that God will not fool him. He knows God will do just what he said. Abraham has become very old. See how old he is. Sarah, his wife, is old too. They are too old to have a baby. But God promised that he would give them a little boy. Three men have come to visit Abraham. Can you see them in the picture? When Abraham saw the three men, he ran to meet them, even though he was so old and the afternoon was so hot. Abraham knew that the three men had come to visit him from heaven. He asked them to come and eat with him, and they did. They had a picnic under the trees. These men told Abraham that Sarah, his wife, was going to have a little baby. Sarah is laughing because she does not believe that God can give her a baby. But God will do just what he said. Soon God will give a baby boy to Abraham and Sarah. How happy they will be then. The baby's name will be Isaac. God gave Abraham a little baby boy, just as he promised. Now in this picture, you can see that the baby has grown to be a big boy. He is with his father, Abraham, and his father is very sorry. Do you know why the father is sad? I will tell you why. It is because God has told Abraham to bring Isaac here and to kill him. God wants to know if Abraham loves God best or loves his boy best. Abraham loves his boy very, very much. But of course he loves God the very best of all. Soon Abraham will take out his knife to kill his dear son. Then, suddenly God will call to Abraham and say, Stop, Abraham, stop. Don't do that. 
Don't hurt him. Look behind you. Abraham will look and see a lamb caught in some bushes. Kill the lamb, God will say. Don't kill your son. I know now that you love me. The lamb will die so that Abraham's big boy can come home again with his father. Now the father is glad. Do you see the man talking to the nice lady? Do you know what they are talking about? The man is asking the lady where her father is. He wants to talk with her father. The man has come a long way. He lives with Abraham in another country. Abraham told him to go and find a wife for his son Isaac. The man asked God to help him find the right lady. This is the lady God will give to Isaac to be his wife. The man will ask the lady and her father if she will be Isaac's wife, and they will say yes. The lady's name is Rebekah. She will be Isaac's wife. This is the girl who said she would be Isaac's wife. Her name is Rebecca. You can see Isaac running toward her. She has come on the camels for a long, long way to be his wife. She has never seen Isaac before, and Isaac has never seen Rebecca before. They are happy because God has given them to each other. Soon God will give them two babies. They will have twins named Jacob and Esau.